A dangerous and frightening chase through the streets of downtown LA and that car had a baby on board. Mm -hmm. The suspect took off with the baby inside the car. Speeding and traveling on the wrong side of the road at times while the baby's mother waited terrified. Kate Kellnine's Jasmine Veal live in downtown LA where she spoke with that mother who was still coming to grips with what happened last night. Jazz. Now, what are we all? So that mother, Janelle Jones, says that she was parked right here. She pulled up on the curb. She left her car running with her kid inside so that she could go inside and just grab something really quick. But it was through that window that she saw that nightmare unfold. And this suspect on the wrong side of the street. It was a police chase, even more nerve-wracking than usual Monday night. Pit maneuvers definitely out of the question. Inside the stolen white car was Janelle Jones's two-year-old son, Knowledge. It happened so quick. Jones says she pulled up to this 7-Eleven next to her apartment in downtown L.A. on Figueroa after work to grab a free Slurpee for her son, whom she left asleep in the back seat. My car was parked right here. She says a minute after she went inside, she saw a man jump in her car and take off. I had my slippers on, but when I chased after the car, I couldn't run with my slippers, so I took them off and started running barefooted because it was slowing me down. She flagged down a police officer, and within 15 minutes, they used her iPhone to track her car. Every second, she feared for her son's life. You never know if he dumped my baby off the car and kept going. You never know what was happening. Using a spike strip, the LAPD was able to stop the driver and eventually take him into custody in Lamert Park. You can see the moment officers pull out the car seat and then Jones running to the ambulance to reunite with her son and holding him tight. I'm just relieved that my son is okay. Um, that's all I was worried about. I didn't care about my car. I didn't care about the damages. Jones says knowledge slept through the whole thing, only waking up when officers took him out of the car. You can see in this video, he's holding on to his toy sword. Jones says she recognized the man who took off in her vehicle. He's always standing outside of the 7-Eleven begging for change. He was watching my every move, so he, he seen me walk in, and I guess as soon as I walked in, he... He took off in my car. Jones admits she made a big mistake leaving her son. It wasn't purposely for putting my baby in danger. And Jones says she really should have known better. She works as a security guard nearby. Uh, by the way, she's still waiting to get her car back so she can actually go to work and take her son to daycare. We're trying to find out more information about the suspect. Hopefully bring that to you on CBS 2 News at 5. Live here in downtown L.A., I'm Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News. Well, L.A. County is just days away from a 